Good morning and a warm welcome dear students. In the last grammar lesson we have learnt how many and how much. Today in grammar we are going to learn a new topic that is antonyms. subject grammar antonyms now what is the meaning of the word antonyms what is antonyms antonyms are words that are opposite in meaning to each other so antonym is nothing else than the opposite we have already done opposite in our english so opposite words are also called as antonyms. Antonyms are words that are opposite in meaning to each other. Now this there are two words which are opposite in meaning. Their meanings are totally opposite to each other. Such words are called as antonyms. I have given you one example Mina is a tall girl. Okay, she is a tall. Mina is a tall girl. So, the opposite of tall is short. So, I have given you another example. Sima is a short girl. So, Mina is a tall girl. Opposite of tall is short. Sima is a short girl. Now, here I have given some common opposites. Some common Opposites are, okay, which are the common one, which we use every day. So, the first one is easy. Can anybody tell me what is the opposite of easy? Yes, the opposite of easy is difficult. Next, new. We have already done this in English. Opposite of new is, yes, very good. New is old. Opposite of wide. The road is wide and the street is narrow. Hard. The stone is hard but the cotton is soft. You have to be careful while crossing the road and if you are careless then there may accident may take place. Next is up. Look up and look down. Arrival. The train has arrived. And the opposite of arrival is, this may be a new word to you. Arrival. Arrival means to come. And departure. Departure is the opposite of arrival. Cheap. The opposite of cheap is costly. Okay. Pencil is cheap. And the cost and the pen is costly. Foolish. Opposite of foolish is wise. And the last one fast. Opposite of fast is slow. So once again we just read these opposites once again. Easy, difficult, new, old, wide, narrow, hard, soft, careful, Careless, up, down, arrival, departure, cheap, costly, foolish, wise, fast, slow. Now children, very important thing in antonyms, in opposites is, when you write to opposites, this sign has to be there. Okay, you can see it as X. Or multiplication sign should be there to indicate the words are opposite. So when you write the opposite, this sign is must. I hope this is clear to you. Now we are going to do exercise based on antonyms or opposites. Question number one. Fill in the blanks with the opposites of the underlined words. Now these words are underlined 
and I have highlighted them in blue. So now you have to read the sentence and write exactly the opposite of the underlying word. The first sentence is the king was rich but the beggar was dash. Now what is the opposite of rich? Yes, the opposite of rich is poor. So let's read the sentence. The king was rich but the beggar was poor. Number two, Lila is wide awake. She is wide awake. She did not sleep. She is wide awake. But Sheila is fast dash. Now you have to write the opposite of awake. Who will tell me what is the opposite of awake? Yes. Very good. The opposite of awake is asleep. Awake. That means she did not sleep. And here fast asleep. She is sleeping. Next. The stone is hard. But the cotton is dash. We have already done this. So opposite of hard is soft. So we read the sentence, the stone is hard but the cotton is soft. Number four, the great wheel first went up then came dash. Now the opposite of up, as you all know this opposite, up, the opposite of up is very good, down. So let us read the sentence. The great wheel first went up, then came down. Number five, it is easy to pray. Okay, it's very simple, very easy to pray. Okay, pray to God. So the opposite of easy is, yes, very good. The opposite of easy is difficult. So here, but difficult to find God. It is easy to pray but difficult to find God. Now children, you are going to take your grammar notebook, take a new page, write today's date and write the name of the topic, antonyms along with the definition. Copy this exercise in your grammar notebook. Thank you children. Have a nice day.